वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टॉपिक ज्योमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट फोर्थ टर्म ऑफ अ जीपी इज स्क्वायर ऑफ इट्स सेकंड टर्म एंड द फर्स्ट टर्म इज माइनस थ्री डिटरमिन इट्स सेवेंथ टर्म ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस राइट वाट इज गिवन हेयर वी आर गिवन फोर्थ टर्म ऑफ ए जी पी इज स्क्वायर ऑफ इट्स सेकेंड टर्म मीन्स टी फोर इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर ऑफ इट्स सेकेंड टर्म दिस वन थिंग इज गिवन एंड ऑल्सो गिवन फर्स्ट टर्म इज माइनस थ्री फर्स्ट टर्म इन अ जी पी इज जनरली डोनेटेड बाई ए सो ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री डिटर्मिन इट्स सेवेंथ टर्म वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट T7, correct. So we know the formula. The general term of arithmetic progression T n is equal to a into r to the power n minus one. You know here a is first term, and r is common ratio, and n is this number of terms, general term. Okay. So on the basis of this formula, we can write T4 is equal to how much? In place of n, we have to put 4. So a into r to the power 4 minus 1. A into r to the power 4 minus 1. Okay, this is t4. And t2 is equal to how much? T2 is equal to a r to the power 2 minus 1. And this is square of t2. So we can write like this. Okay, or we are getting here a r cube. Is equal to a square r square, correct? Very simple. And we can also write r cube by r square is equal to a square by a. This r square has been transposed to left hand side, so it's come in denominator. And this a is transposed to right hand side, so it also comes in denominator. So here r square will be cancelled out, so we are getting r here. And similarly, a square is cancelled out with the a square, we are getting a. So or r is equal to a, or r r is equal to how much? A is minus three. So here we are having value of first term a minus three. As well as value of r, this is also equal to minus three. Very simple. And if these two quantities a and r are known, we got it. In that case, we can find out any required number of term with the help of this general formula. Here we have to find out t seven. Okay, so t seven. Is equal to by this formula we can write a r to the power seven minus one means a r to the power six. Here we are having values of a and r both are equal to minus three. So here a is minus three and r is minus three to the power six and this is equal to minus three to the power seven. Okay. Now simply we have to calculate it. We have to evaluate it. We have to multiply minus three how many times? Seven times for the finding out the solution. And uh, you will see that whenever you will do this multiplication, uh, this will be equal to minus two thousand one hundred eighty-seven. So this is the seventh term. So this is the required answer. Minus two thousand one hundred eighty-seven is the required answer, which we are getting by calculating it. Nice, very good. Understood it very well. Very simple question. Fine. So thank you very much for watching this video.